I've got two. I don't know if one of them's a prop bet. You would have to tell me. But let me, I'll, I'll give you this now, and then 445, Roberto's giggling back there. He's got the 12 etiquette tips for a Super Bowl party. Roberto actually contributed a topic to the show? Wow. It's, it's, wow. A, it's a big day. No, I, and again, I'm not, I'm not knocking anybody if you enjoy the party. It's just I'm kind of over them. I'm done with them. I, I think if you actually want to watch the game, you can't go to a party. I told you, I'm like it's it, it, it's my Larry David curb your enthusiasm moment. Super Bowl parties, there are so many things that bother me, I just can't be there. I'm looking forward to that. But I remember the last time Roberto did a bit, it uh, bombed miserably. So let's hope that he can yeah. rebound. Yeah, the movie one. That's great. When you were mad at me because I actually uh, passed the quiz. All right, you want your prop bet? I'd love it. Yes. All right. So, what's the one thing that the Patriots? always do early in a Super Bowl. I don't throw ex- the football. No. Air it out. Or maybe more accurately, what they don't do. They usually start slow. Correct. So with that in mind, I think it's in eight, what is it now? Seven of the eight Super Bowls. Okay, or whatever it is. The Pats have not scored in the first quarter. You know I like Philly in this game, right? You know I love that defense. And I know that the Patriots will adjust. They will react. But the bet I was going to offer you, because I know you're Mr. Prop, would be the Eagles plus three for the first half. I think there's a very good chance the Eagles go to the half up. And I know at five, we're going to get into the whole breakdown. But, like, I, I first of all, playoffs, right? I've gone 10-2 and two picking these games. I've had an unbelievable playoff. If I get the Super Bowl wrong, I get it wrong. But I told you on Monday when we came in after Championship Sunday, I like the Eagles in this game with the points. I do think the Eagles will play up. The Eagles have what it takes to stay with New England. And that front four... And the wide nine that they're going to play with Schwartz, it, it's going to get to Brady. I think the I think the Eagles could go in up early. So I would offer you Eagles plus three in the first half and Eagles plus 120 to score first. I like that, yeah. I know you're a prop guy. I'm not giving you something on the national anthem. I'm not going to. I'll be betting that as well. Oh, come on. No. Uh, Are just, you it's, serious? Just, it's just fun. Just Why? try to start. It, it's it's the it's the lure of the Super Bowl. I'm going to be betting on the coin toss and the oh, national anthem. No, no, I'm losing them. I'm losing them, David. It's the one time of the year just to have fun with all this stuff. Now, does does the Eagles' first half line count as a prop or is that a standard bet? That would be pretty standard. You could pretty much get that. So uh, Eagles in any... Eagles scoring first would be the prop. Yeah, I, yeah, that's that's I've seen that. All yep. right. Well, the single bet I like. I mean, when it was Eagles getting five and a half or six, I loved them with the points. I'd still take the points. What is it now? Four and a half. It's down to four at some at one point. Ooh, yeah. I don't. I, you, you need the half point. But I would take Eagles first half, and I take Eagles to score first. The Pats never start fast. They don't score in the first quarter in these Super Bowls, and I could see the Eagles coming out on their script. The short passing game, the power running game, I could see them getting on the board early. Now, what did you say you had that at? Plus what? Eagles to score first? Last time I checked was pre-show. I think it was plus 120. Okay, yeah, because Patriots to score first is minus 145 right now. All right, so what's the Eagles to score first? On here, the one I'm looking at is plus 110. Okay, plus 110. I'll place that right now. No, oh, no, please don't. Not live on the air. Oh, my God. I'm losing him, Roberto. I's losing him. So what? All right, hold on. I'm not going to do something, hey, what's your favorite prop at 2-4? No. I'm not doing no. that. We're going to rap about it for 5, 10 minutes. Go ahead. So what is yours? Like, I mean, obviously, I didn't offer anything groundbreaking. I just think that those are two value, you know, two places you can grab some value. I mean, think about it. Pa- yeah. pa- Patriots are minus four, minus four and a half for the game. They're minus three in the first half. And you know the Pats don't start strong. No, it's a good one, for that sure. seems like a solid play. Why, what's yours? And don't, don't tell me to coin flip, please. No, mine's going to be a what color Gatorade is poured on the winning coach. After No, just I was That's looking at That's not real. I was looking at that earlier, actually. That's a real thing. Yeah, do you want to know the odds on it? I, oh, God. Let's see. I can't, someone's actually going to bet on that? Oh, yeah. That's a big one. Um, okay, the National Ant. Uh, here we go. Color of liquid dumped on winning coach. 
Yellow plus 10, orange plus 225, red plus 285, clear slash water plus 350. Um, People bet on this. Blue plus 200. Oh, my God. It's not river water. Purple. If you, hey, if you bet purple, plus 950. Purple. So oh if, <laughs> if purple uh, Gatorade is stomped on him. But, no, I mean, it's uh, – I don't know. I, I think the Patriots, statistically speaking, and I've looked this up before, they're very, very good when they have two weeks to prepare for a team. Very okay. good. Whether that be a bye week, whether that be a uh, Super Bowl, obviously, because the Super Bowl is always two weeks. So, you know, I know it's, it's my bit. You can never bet against the Patriots, nor will I be. But uh, I don't know. There has to be some value with betting on New England. I, I, I think I agree with you with starting out slow. No. But Mike, here's the thing, buddy. If there's so much value in them, why has all of the money nibbled that spread down? Not the amount of bets, the money. The Eagles are now only four-point dogs. I told you I loved them at five and a half. I'd still take them at four or four and a half. Mm-hmm. Mike. Here's what you have to overcome if you believe in New England. The Eagles are better up front on offense, and they're better up front on defense. And if you control the line of scrimmage, you're going to have a big say in control in that game. And I think the big problem, look, you saw what Jacksonville did with New England. And until Jacksonville took their foot off the gas, 55 seconds and two timeouts in the first half sitting on the ball, getting very conservative late, Jacksonville had that game. And they did it with their front four, very minimal blitzing. And they did it with an offense that was able to control the ball. Nick Foles has shown in these playoffs, he outplayed Matt Ryan. He outplayed Case Keenum. He has shown the ability to complete a high percentage of his passes, move the chains. They've got two physical backs and a Jaya and Blount. I think they have the recipe to do this. And again, like no one talks about them. I know we talk about Jacksonville and some of these other defenses. Philly's front four, and to be more specific, the the seven, eight guys they rotate in, they're among the best in the league. And a guy like Fletcher Cox is going to cause major problems for Brady. That's the only way they've lost in the Super Bowl, bud. My Giants did it to him twice. You got to have a front four. You got to cover with seven. And when you get a chance to beat them, you better do it because they'll come back and beat you. How about this uh, kind of outside the box prop bet for you? And this really is a, a prop bet. The team to commit the first penalty in the game. Oh, oh my, how? No, how no, do you bet on such things? Because I'll tell you, because the Patriots are w- the second what? best team in the league in terms of penalties committed. And also, they've been there before. You know, Belichick always is a, a stickler the on the odds? rules, they're going to prepare what well. What are the odds? So it is, it's, if, if the Eagles commit the first penalty, it's minus 120. If the Patriots commit the first penalty, it's plus 105. I would just roll with the minus 120. I think the Eagles are going to commit the first penalty of the game. I, uh, Roberto, he, need, he he needs help <laughs> betting on the first penalty. Will there be a safety in the game? Oh, yes. Come on. All right. Yes, plus right. 800, Time no, out. minus 1250. The spread's headed towards three, right? Yeah, it was like four, four and a half. Last Does time New England like, have a good kicker? Yes. Do the Eagles have a good kicker? Yeah. What are the odds on overtime? Uh, I was actually just looking at that here. Never had an overtime Super Bowl. Will there be an overtime? Yes, plus 800. No, minus 1250. Why not throw a few shackles on OT? Last year was the first time, yeah. Oh, you're right. Um, I'm sorry, David. So you yeah. still get plus 800? Plus 800 for overtime, yeah. Good call, David, good call on that. I zoned out. My bad. 800, though. Why not? Field goal type game? Right. Yeah. Right. I think it'll be a low scoring game. I'm not saying put like a a crazy amount of money. They're going to give you almost 10 to 1 odds. Why not? Yep. How about the total punts by Uh, both teams? Okay, you're done. Eight and a half. That's enough. We're good. What is wrong with you?